Um, for during the session, I would recommend to use Salvecchio vibes or to are like a frequency music that helps you to align your cells on a cellular level or any kind of music that calms you. So whether that's violin or piano or anything that makes you feel good. The focus of the class today is on the stomach and the spleen energy and our connecting on our body. So the same we did on Saturday, connecting to our body and allowing ourselves to tap into the natural wisdom of our body and to see our body as what it truly is. It is our companion for life. And a lot of times we don't have a lot of margin in the way we look at our body. It's either like our body does what I want it to do in my mind and the body's not doing that. I'm rejecting the body. I'm mad at the body. I'm frustrated at the body. So the intention for today is to befriend the body and to actually see what it is doing for us and allowing a sense of gratitude for our body and a deep relaxation. We're going to focus on the earth element and on a energetical level, again, on the Apana energy, which is the energy that is moving down and it helps us to let go on the level of digestion, on a level of mind, on a level of old beliefs and limitations. So this energy is downward and outward and helps us to let go automatically of what is not serving us by simply rooting into the moment and in trust in ourselves. So that being said, let's not uh, go any deeper into it. Let's just experience it. So I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for showing up for yourself. We'll get a little bit of space after the session to chat if needed, but now we get started. So we're going to start today in the child's pose. If the child's pose is not accessible to you, you can lay on your back with your knees to the chest, but the child's pose is mainly like this. So on sitting onto the knees and you can either extend your arms forward, even placing the palms of the hands together if you like, or palms together, our arms next to the body. If this is really intense for you, you can maybe um, place a bolster or a cushion underneath your belly or fold in towel so it's less intense or lay onto your back and just bring your knees to your chest. So the most important thing is that there's a gentle pressure on your abdomen and that you can become silent into this pose. If you're not really familiar with yin yoga or its advantages, yin yoga is so beneficial because we're going to stay in a pose for about three minutes a pose. This is going to enable us to work not only on a muscular level, but more importantly on a, on a fascia, on a tissue level. This will help the body to restore on a deeper level and will have positive benefits also for our mind and our emotional body. A lot of the things that we experience on a day to day, a lot of blockages, a lot of stress does not necessarily have to do with what is happening now, but with memories from the past, with blockages from the past that are stored into our system. The intention for today is to approach our body and ourselves with openness. So that bit by bit you can sink deeper into yourself and into this moment. Start now by trying to become fully silent unless this posture hurts or becomes very unpleasant. Then you can move a little bit, but the idea is to become comfortable with discomfort. So instead of moving away from what we automatically don't like, automatically wanting to move away and change, the intention today is to consciously choose to be with that sensation and to find compassion and comfort in every movement, in every moment. We're going to take about a minute more here and we're going to try to breathe into the belly. So try to send your breath a bit slower down into your belly as you breathe in. And as you breathe out to feel as if 
imaginary hands press your hips down and you allow a sense of broadness and relaxation into the hip area. Slow down the pace of an in and exhalation and try to focus on the exhalation. Each time you exhale slowly, you allow the body to ground down so you feel that your body is connected to the ground underneath you. This helps us to gradually move from our mind and thoughts and activity in the sympathetic, sympathetic nervous system into deep relaxation and healing into the parasympathetic nervous system. Take a few more breaths and focus on your exhalation and a little gap between an exhale and an inhale. So try to fully, fully exhale as much as you can and then wait a little bit and just let a new inhale come into the belly, massaging your abdomen and facilitating the well-being of all your organs and body. Notice if there's any intention you have for today, anything you wish to give yourself beyond just being with yourself and shedding layers of yourself. Know that you are the person that can allow anything in your life. Take a few more grounding breaths. And throughout the course of the practice, unless said otherwise, you can just stay with your natural breath. But if you feel like you need it today, I would recommend to focus on longer exhales to really benefit from the grounding effects of the practice. Take your last breath in here. Then you're going to breathe out and you're going to try to come and sit up slowly and open the eyes. We're going to start with opening the soles of the feet. So you're going to try to spread your toes and place your toes into the floor. And you're going to try to sit onto the soles of the feet. If this is too much, you can come all the way up or lean a bit to the front. But what you're going to try to do is we're going to open up the soles of the feet to facilitate the movement of energy in the body. If you can release the hands, then spread the, then collapse the fingers together, clasp the fingers together and push the hands away. So opening the palms and the soles of the feet and just taking a few breaths where you breathe into the lungs and when you breathe out, you bring your awareness to the edges of the body. So as if the air, the life force energy moves through your hands and through your feet. So you breathe in into the center of the body and you breathe out and you bring your awareness to the edges of your body. If your awareness, if your attention goes to any other scenario or reality, just allow yourself to focus again on what is here, what is now, and allow yourself to be present with sensations to optimize the benefits of the practice. Finish your last breath and then release your hands, release your feet. Maybe you want to sh shake it a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to sit up here. You can, if this is too much for you, for your ankles or anything, you can also come sit cross-legged for a moment. So make sure that it feels okay for you. You're going to place your hands on top of each other like this. And we're going to massage the area between our hip bones and our ribs just with circular movement. So you can close your eyes and what you're going to do is you're going to place your hands on your belly, draw your shoulders away from your ears and just make small circles first on the stomach area. So you just make a few circles first clockwise, like five circles while breathing and then in the other direction. You try to really be present with what you're doing rather than any ideas on whether you like it or not, just doing it and experiencing what it does in your body, 
rather than whatever story it provokes in your mind. Then go a little bit more to the right and again start clockwise and then counterclockwise. So our, our brain, our gut is often called our second brain. And when we make decisions or when we have to move forward in life, we're often thinking a lot from our mind and bring all the energy into our worry and thought. The practice today is about connecting to the body and letting the intelligence of your body speak through you. Make five circles clockwise, five counterclockwise, and then move forward. So you really want to massage all the parts of your belly. So more to the center, five times, don't rush, just be with it. And then you go to the left more and you do it there. all the directions so you have about like four, four spots and then when you are ready so take your time so five times clockwise counterclockwise in the center to the right to the middle lower to the left and when you are ready with that you're gonna come to all fours position hands and knees good it can be that you still have some excess energy, especially if your nature or your trained nature, how you nurture yourself is to worry and to be in your head a lot. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do some breath of fire. So we're going to do some active breathing to get all the excess energy out and to move deeper into relaxation. So what you're going to do is you're going to do cat cows. So we're going to connect to the spine and thus balance the nervous system. You're going to inhale, you're going to open the chest and you're going to exhale and you're going to round the spine. So you go from hollow to round. And what I wish to invite you to do today is to breathe forcefully into the nose, into the belly and forcefully out. So you breathe in and out through the nose. And when you breathe out, you're going to draw your pelvic floor and belly in and up. So you really want to suck the energy in and up on an exhale and move quicker than you would do with a natural breath. So you try to breathe a little bit faster. So it's something like in, out, in, out. So as fast as you can and just like bring all your energy into as fast as you can with an orchestrated breathing rhythm. So the breath and the movement go together. We do this about one and a half minutes. Because it's a lot of times hard to transition from an active lifestyle and day into relaxation. So this kind of exercise really facilitates that transition. Move as fast as you can. We go a few more rounds. Try to really draw your pelvic floor in and up as you exhale. Your belly in and up, really sucking it up. Finish your last three rounds. And then come into the center. Just notice any subtle sensations in the body. So just take a moment to acknowledge whatever you feel and experience now without any any judgment upon it and then you're going to walk your hands forward and you're going to melt your heart to the floor so we're going to come here if this is too much bend your elbows more make the elbows wider so it's less intense on your shoulder area or extend them all the way forward rest your forehead onto the floor or if you have any thyroid problems or any tension in the throat space you can also try to gently place the chin onto the floor to facilitate the opening and free flow of energy into the full front body through the throat space. Make sure you choose what feels good for you as we are going to be here around three minutes. Try to walk your fingers a bit further forward. So you're really stretching into the armpit region, which is connected to the spleen energy and which facilitates our lymphatic system to remove anything from your body, from your being that is not serving you. And 
It's very normal if you are newer to yin yoga that you can be in these kind of poses and wish that it's over or want to do something else. It's because our mind is very used to distraction and we find it very hard to slow down, which is an essential balance we need in our life. Not only plan and live in the future and live in scenarios, but actually enjoying and being present in life here and now. Most of the benefits of this practice come from being present in your body and bringing your awareness to the spaces in the body that feel tense. So they did research on this, that if we have tension in our body and we bring our awareness with conscious breath into those spaces, that the blood flow actually increases there and that the body healing capacities are induced. Don't let yourself be tricked into the games of your mind, but allow yourself to tap into the wisdom and the presence of your body. Try to breathe into your belly area. And when you breathe out, try to have a sense of melding into your heart space so that the heart and the shoulder area melts into the floor. And every time your mind takes over and makes you a story, recognize it and come back to your breath and to your body. You see the thoughts, you are not the thoughts. Take a few more breaths and focus on the connection you have to the ground on an out breath. We're going to slowly come out of the pose, come into a hands and knees position. Take your time and now step your right foot forward in between your hands. Good. Draw your right hip back and try to slide your left knee as much as you can back so you have a really nice stretch into the, into the psoas muscle. Either come onto your fingertips here, try to lower your hips as much as you can or come all the way up, possibly bring the arms up, stretching the armpit region and taking a few breaths here. Focus less on trying to not fall down and focus more on trying to open up the front and back of your spine. So feel and visualize each and every vertebrae from your tailbone to your crown. And as you breathe in, stretch your fingers away from the earth Open the whole front body and send your breath as deep as you can into the belly when you breathe in. Stretch your crown of the head away from your tailbone. Breathe out, lower the hips a bit more and try to really find a deep stretch. Your hands can be on the floor too. Relax your jaw, relax your face and oxygenate the whole front and back body. Take a few more breaths. Stretch your fingers a bit higher, breathe in, stretch, breathe out, ground down. Okay. And you place your hands gently down, you come into hands and knees position. You can just notice a subtle difference between your left and right side. As you place your left foot forward now, slide the right knee as far back as you can. Stretch the arms all the way up, spread your fingers or keep your hands onto the floor if it's too much. The intention lies on the front of your right hip, so try to not collapse in the lower back, bring the ribcage a bit in and focus on stretching the whole front body and back body. Relax your jaw, relax your face, take a few more breaths and learn to be with unpleasant sensations in the body. Whatever you feel now, it was already there. So you're allowing yourself to open up. Okay, now we're gonna gently come into hands and knees position. 
and just come and lay down onto the floor for a moment and shake your hips out. Place your hands on top of each other and just rest your forehead onto your hands. And before transitioning into the next pose, just take a few breaths as slow as you can. So you're going to make it the challenge to breathe in as slow as you can through your nose. And then you take a little break and then you're going to try to breathe out as slow as you can through your nose or your mouth. Try to make your exhale even longer. And on an exhale, you try to connect with a sense of broadness in the body. So you feel from the center of the body, the body stretching outward as if your body is melting into the floor. Take a few more of those slow breaths. And let each and every of that breath be an opportunity to come back into the moment. are going to extend your right arm horizontally to the side and your right palm is facing down so your hand is on the floor your right palm is down on the floor you're going to place your left hand underneath your left shoulder and you're going to roll over your right shoulder opening the front of your right shoulder place your left foot onto the floor we're just going to take a few breaths here press down into your palm roll over that shoulder your head can be on a cushion or onto the floor possibly stretching the left arm back as well and just try to really lift your heart away from the belly so rolling over the shoulder good and breathing into the front of the shoulder take a few more breaths beautiful try to lift your heart more away from the belly as you're there and bring your awareness to the spaces in the body that hold tension Don't force yourself from your mind. Listen to the body. Whatever the body can do today is perfect. It doesn't have to be more. And then come back into the center. Take a moment to just place your arms in 90 degrees. Place your chin onto the floor. And just try to really stretch your elbows away from your shoulders out. Take again a few of those slow breaths and melt your body down into the ground as you exhale. Allow tension on a physical level to be released on an exhale. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So this time you're going to extend your left arm. Unless you did just the left one and you did the right one. You roll over that shoulder. You place the right foot onto the floor. Your head can be on a cushion. If it's really not comfortable for the neck, then place something under your left ear. Possibly extend your right arm back. And really bring your awareness to the region of the armpits. Relax your jaw and try to not create more tension as a reaction to what you feel. If there's tension in one part of the body, keep it there. Breathe into that space. And then you're going to slowly come out of the pose, come onto the belly. Good. And then slide your elbows underneath the shoulders. And lift your heart away from your belly. You're going to have a sense of broadness in your lower back. What you can do if you have a block at home and you don't like this so active, you can place a block under your forehead, bring your chin to the chest and have your block here. Or you can just look ahead. 
if you want to deepen this experience you can bend your legs and focus more on the lower on the lower belly and the front of the hips it's really important that you don't hollow the lower back too much so you keep, keep on pressing your belly button down into the floor your shoulders are away from the ears and you can close your eyes here this pose is for the stomach energy and preparing for a more intensive pose we will do later but mostly it's also for our kidney energy and the general circulation in the body of fluids which affects our immunity, our immune system and the restorative capacities of the body because when the body is only in stress and only rushing and only worrying it's surviving so you will get injuries and ailments try to approach this kind of exercise not as much from your mind but try to be in a space of no mind so discovering everything that is not mind so the breath the sensation and your ability to feel the connection with your physical body and the earth on an exhalation We're going to take about a minute more here if you want to intensify this place your hands a little bit to the side and possibly try to straighten your arms more but you don't want to compress the lower back and you don't want to have any result focus rather just exploring where you can go try to draw your shoulder blades down and together onto the back lift the crown of the head away from your tailbone and take a few full breaths maybe you can even notice the sensations around the stomach area try to breathe in there now we're gently gonna come out of the pose relax relax and try to come and sit again onto the knees If you cannot sit well onto your knees, then I would recommend you to come into cross-legged position. And just take a few moments to be in a, net, in a neutral pose. Again, trying to connect with the slow breathing and mostly with your slow exhales, facilitating more relaxation in the body as you exhale. What parts of your body still hold, hold tension? Where is your awareness? Is it up in your mind? Is it low in the body? Can you be accepting and open to all sensations? Without having any fixated idea on what the experience should be like. Now we are going to move from here into a more intensive stretch which you might need to sit onto a cushion um, or you might let's approach it half half so we're going to start with extending the left leg forward and your right leg is bent and if you have a lot of tension in your right knee then I would recommend to sit onto a cushion with your left buttocks yes you can also bend this leg if it's more accessible or straighten the left leg so you're gonna try to bring it bend like this good 
Now we're going to try to lean a little bit back, but you try to keep on pressing the knee down. So the aim is really to stretch the whole front of the right leg, which can be pretty intense. But the more you stack it higher, if you place an extra cushion on your left buttocks, it will be less intense. Try to lower your right hip as much as you can so that the lower back is neutral. Possibly you can come all the way onto your forearms or maybe go all the way down. Good. Try to be present with the sensations. Keeping the chin to the chest or maybe relaxing all the way down. You're going to try to relax the jaw and any kind of reaction you have to this and try to keep the tension where it is. The automatic response of our ego is to fight whatever we don't like. In our consciousness we can understand that being with this and breathing into this is actually helping you to open up on all layers of your being. Know and find comfort in the fact that we're not going to be here forever and this pose is eventually going to end. But wishing it to be over is not helpful. So try to just breathe and center your attention in your breath. Try to visualize your breath moving all the way down into the body. So towards your knees so that the breath is not just in the lungs but the life force moves all the way down. When you breathe out, you feel the connection to the earth. We're going to stay here about one more minute. Make your breaths really slow. Mostly your exhales. And when you're going to come out of the pose, you're going to do it very carefully. Really take your time. Come out of it and just take a neutral pose. I would recommend you to just place a cushion under your two buttocks and just lay down for a moment. You can shake your legs even a little bit to improve circulation in your lower body. Even hitting a little bit. So like um, <laughs> hitting with your hands, your legs can help to improve circulation and oxygen flow in the lower body parts. You can place your hands in onto your solar plexus, so onto your stomach area. And taking a few very, very slow breaths again. So try to make your breath like a slow motion breath. Breathing in, expanding the whole body. Breathing out, noticing all the parts of your body that are connecting to the floor. Reminding you that you are here. And that the trust and the grounding you want to allow can be facilitated right here. A lot of times we have the tendency to wish to control everything around us, to find the per perfect conditions so that we can be content, and we can trust and we can feel connected. But it's actually by reversing it and allowing ourselves to feel connected now that we will worry less about what happens around. So take a few more breaths and really move your energy down. Breathing into the lungs, breathe out, ground the body down, broad and wide.
and then we are going to transition we're going to do the other side so take your time to transition come in a way that you are really not suddenly rushing or something so just take your time and do the other side now so this time we're going to bend the left leg it might be easier or more difficult just acknowledge that it can be really helpful to support your right buttocks with something so your hips are square lean a little bit back if possible or go all the way down Try to be present where you are, not where you want to be, but where you are now. Count each and every breath as it is an opportunity to be present again. Doesn't matter how many times you are distracted, how many times you go back into worry, you can choose that. Your choice is to reconnect to your body and allow yourself to relax in this body, in this moment. If you still have a hard time to do it, breathe out longer. Breathe out slower. You can always come out if it's too much. We're gonna take about one more minute. And then in your own smooth way, come back and lay back down onto the belly in your, own, uh, in your back, on your own way. So whatever feels good, just by coming up first. And again, you can maybe shake your legs a little bit. And what can help you to relieve any excess tension that you might have felt throughout the practice is breathing out through your mouth. So if you like breathe out on a sigh, like you can really let all the excess energy that is no longer serving you move through you. Allow on each exhalation the awareness to be around you, the awareness to be in all the edges of your body, so there's as much attention to your toes as to your fingers. You notice the subtle movement of your skin on the rhythm of your breath. You become more and more aware of the physical experience beyond the thoughts. Grow that. Put your energy into that. It's a very important guidance system in your life. Take a few more breaths in and out and focus on slow, full exhales. Broad body, present mind. So you're gonna bend your legs when you're ready. You're going to move this cushion, if you had it, onto the side. We're just going to do a few hip bridges as this improves circulation and this is going to aid at our final relaxation later. So you're going to bend your legs, you place the soles of the feet very close to your hips. 
Your arms can be over your head stretched or reaching with your fingers towards your heels. And what you're gonna do is on the rhythm of your breath, just a few times lifting your hips on an in-breath and lowering your hips on an out-breath. So you breathe fully in, the awareness moves towards the knees all the way down. Exhale, lower hips, broad hips. Do this a few more times and really press down into the soles of the feet and the full feet. This is a really good exercise to do in the morning when you wake up to aid circulation and to bring more presence, to move away from your head into your body. We do the last one and the last one you're gonna hold for a few breaths, push your feet as much as you can into the floor as if you wanna push the floor away. Find the strength in there, engage your glutes, engage your quads, create some engagement in the lower body parts. Take a deep inhalation now, as deep as you can, and now hold your breath. Bring your awareness to the center of your stomach. Hold your breath as much as you can and focus, push your feet into the floor. And then you're gonna exhale, you're gonna relax the body and you're gonna bring your knees to your chest. Good. Then make some circles with your knees on the chest. Stimulating the nervous endings into the lower back, which aid at the general well-being of the body. This can be can be very relaxing, very soothing. Now we're gonna do one more exercise. So we're gonna rock back and forth a few times to now really stimulate the whole circulation in the whole spine, each and every vertebrae. So bring your chin to the chest, engage your pelvic floor muscles a bit and just rock a few times back and forward, stimulating the adrenals and the optimal function of our immune system. Come to sit up tall and now extend your legs forward. We focused a lot on opening the front body. Now we're gonna compress the front body and the stomach and spleen meridian to from there go into a deep, deep relaxation. So we're gonna try to enter a forward fold, which for some people can be here. This can be a forward fold. The aim is to focus more on the therapeutic and soothing effects. So it might be that if your hamstrings are really tight that you support your hamstrings and you have less this idea of like the really ripping tension and it's gonna be more therapeutic something. So you can place your hands like this and support your head, but ideally you can fold the cushion double and you can support. For me, I can reach with my head, my knees, but if that's not the case, you can put a block or something. And it's really important that you're not gonna go to 100% of your stretch. For what we're doing now, you wanna be at about 30% of what you can do on a muscle stretch. Good. Try to bring your chin a bit to the chest and really support the head so that the neck is supported. In this pose, we practice the therapeutic benefits of surrender. So many of our energy is lost in anxiety and worry over things we can't control. This pose stimulates our ability to surrender. Breathe in, trust, and breathe out presence. Trust in yourself, trust in the journey. Trust in that what is beyond your control. If visualization works for you, you can connect with the last time you felt supported through life, that you felt trust in yourself and you can breathe in and you can grow that and you breathe out and you're just here you feel that you're here now if this doesn't work for you just breathe in and breathe out and try to be accepting and open and compassionate for all that you experience don't fight it just breathe
We're going to take about a minute more. Allow an exhalation to be an opportunity to relax more in the back body, which is a representation of your subconsciousness. Now gently come out of the pose. You really don't want to rush here. Come out. And you can notice any sensation. So take a moment. Maybe you notice things in your body. Just notice and don't judge it. Just It's about the practice of the experience. It's the body relaxing and the body restoring. We're going to go towards the floor and I wish you to bring a cushion or something that um, you can put as a weight on your belly so to have a sense of grounding more, so supporting ourselves. You're going to come to the floor and you can do a few supine twists. So if you come to the floor, just drop your knees a few times from side to side with your knee, feet very close to your hips, just relaxing your lower back. And you can do a few deep sighs or just vocal sounds on an exhale because the energy that is removed often is getting stuck in our throat space. That is where we vocalize and release. So if you're alone or even if you're not, you know, never mind what others think about this. Just let it go for yourself and just release, like experience the freeing the freeing feeling of sighing and instead of thinking about it in advance you cannot predict what it will do for you then when you feel ready you're going to give yourself a really big hug so you hug your knees to your chest and you're going to squeeze your arms around and you're going to take a deep inhalation and you're going to hug your arms as close as you can and you push your knees in your body so you're kind of creating tension inward and outward you breathe in and then you're going to hold your breath bring your chin to your chest hold your breath as long as you can draw your belly in and up and then when you can no more you exhale and you relax down to the floor and then you can place maybe a cushion under your knees but possibly also a cushion on your belly to have a sense of heaviness on your body Then you're going to rub your hands together, making really warm in between your hands. And you're going to place your hands onto your eyes and press gently onto the eyes, relaxing the gaze and allowing you to move from fight and flight into rest and digest. Press gently down onto the eyes. And then close your eyes and relax the arms, open the arms next to the body. Put on any sound, any music that you like. Just relax your arms, open your arms next to the body. And just allow yourself to fully relax. We're all the time stressing and planning and creating experiences in the mind. Can you just surrender? to what is here and now. Give yourself and your body this gift of relaxation and trust the healing that comes through releasing. Listen to the music, to the sound and just relax. All you need is here. There's nothing to fear. Just surrender. Just be with yourself right here.